Again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Meta High School for Rocket League. And, well, the players, they're not willing to raid here. They've immediately said go. And, well, that's where we are right now. It is St. Mark, St. John, St. Michael. I'm being joined by former once again. Um, oh, good save there from Golden CD. But, yeah, a bit of a um, interrupted introduction. Yeah, you know, I mean, these players feeling anxious. They, they didn't want to wait that extra minute before the scheduled go time. Just they wanted to show that, yes, those New Zealand games we saw before were fast, but we're going to be one minute faster, apparently, as already off of the board, St. Mark is putting a lot of pressure right there on the St. Michael. Now, St. Mark, I have been told is on the orange side. St. Michael is on the blue side. If that is incorrect, I'm sure we will be corrected shortly. But as it stands right now, things are looking good for the team, I perceive, being St. Mark. Yeah, it's looking... It's looking all right for St. Mark's at the moment here, able to control a fair bit of, well, control, but they're now forced back on defense here. They do go for a double commit, and Golden City is able to knock Cam o Willow back down to the ground. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting game here, I believe. Both teams are currently 3-1, as Gitz will be able to sneak it one in and get the opener. I'm going to play nice and say that was Swiper going for the fake, and you yeah. know what? It kind of worked as Camo Willow was kind of looking at it. Huh, maybe he's going to hit. Wait, no, that ball is way over. The point is, though, the follow through shot was very, very good. And St. Michael, despite the slower start, are able to find that first goal. Yeah, St. Michael with the first goal. Um, I can also can confirm that St. Michael are on the blue side, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. But yeah, it was a, um, yeah, as you said, a tactical whiff there for Swiper, and it worked out well because he gave the ball to his teammate. And yeah, they get the opener for it. So now they're back on the fence here, though, which isn't a good spot to be in, of course. But we'll be able to eventually get the clear out here. Swiper once again tries with the 50 50, but Camo Willow will easily win that one out. Gets now trying for his own solo play here. Gets it off the roof. Gets a flick reset. That's not on the line. And Camo Willow is too late. And it will be St. Michael's going on to two. Yes, we can see right here a nice flick play off of the ceiling. The roof shot is good. Skits putting on a bit of a show right now. Uh, something I have noticed in this game, especially compared to that game we saw earlier today, uh, the level is a little bit lower. The speed is a little bit less. So the cars that are willing and the players that are willing to go up for it and actually make those bangers in the air is going to give their team a big advantage. The aerial difference right now has been going in St. Michael's favor. That's why they've gotten a couple quick goals. And I feel like St. Mark is going to have to learn how to adapt on the fly if they want to fight back at this. Definitely have to as a swipe up. will eventually get that goal. I thought that might have been punted out for a minute, but no, I drink Syria will eventually confirm the goal there with the free uh, But yeah, they definitely need to reach out quickly as they can because at the moment, the... Uh, Red Baron, the St. Michael's College squad, they're just currently running a mark on the field. They are, and that own goal is definitely not going to help situations. Now, I'm not going to be too critical of the own goal. That was a tight situation, so it was going to be a very tough save to make either way, but St. Michael, they're definitely looking to be, I believe, the more mechanical team. They kind of adapted to that early pressure they felt, turned it into a quick counterattack. Then we saw Skits get that Skits-like goal off the ceiling. Another advantage later, they're up 3-0, so... Very comfortable start for the St. Michael side. Uh, for St. Mark, what I want to see them do to get back into this, I suppose is pick up that pace. Let's see, see more of that attack that we saw at the start of the game. Let's establish some rotations and just keep causing pressure. A great touch by Camo Willow right there. Beat two defenders, but not the third. Yes, gets on the line there. Just has to do an EVZ save as Camo Willow once again gets another demo here. But won't mean too much here as he's forced back on defense here. Golden CD goes for a solo play, but finds three defenders. No way he's getting through that defensive line this time around here. But here comes a whiff here, and that's another big one there. Swiper turning oh. it a bit too high. And Golden CD with his own whiff. So, yeah, he's a uh, sign of the ball here fairly Fairly consistently now, consistently now, which isn't the best to see, but you never know. It might give a few opportunities for St. Mark's to come back. Mm. I mean, Swiper right there, I'm not going to be critical of his touch. That was actually a pretty good pass back to Golden CD, but Golden's got to hit those if they're delivered to him front and center like that. Camo, that's awkward. Oh. Doesn't make contact with the ball. Swiper unable to punish just yet, and then gets demoed for his effort. Still, though, that's a lot of cars committing on the attack for this blue side, and it was going well, but now comes the counter. Gold oh, might have say. something there. Ball in the box. Shot from Swiper won't be taken as Civil gets there first. 
they're forced to go into a scamper defense, but it's working out as Gitz goes close once again, but just a little bit too shallow on the angle there. We'll hit the near side posts, and well, yeah, looking at these clear outs, they're not that good. They're just stopping the car and letting the ball just drift away. They need to really start pushing out, just like Sivo's doing right now here. Gets opportunity. The Gold CD is able to take the ball away here. Ardring Zero just gets a light touch onto it once again. We'll get the second touch just in time. And now tries to set up the cell. Won't be able to here, but here comes Camo Willow. Gets a touch. There's a bit of miscommunication there as they bump horns. And now Skits gets opportunity to find a break here, but defense comes back once again. But yeah, very, very scampery plays coming out from St. Mark's here, and it's not really working out for him. It's Golden CD gets a shot off, but it's well too slow there, Camo Willow, with an easy save. Yeah, it's desperate plays coming from St. Mark right now. And they don't need to be like just taking a look before camo had a chance to really bang that ball through the middle of the pitch but he tried to rush it because of the nerves because of pressure and he misses a pretty easy clear that's just one example of something that we've been seeing routinely coming from the saint mark side they just need to calm down focus on making that contact two seconds left looking for that last goal not quite going to find it as the ball will touch down so saint michael do take this first game they do so by being the faster team and by far the more consistent team in this they were making the touches they were able to sort of make those defensive clears for st mark weak touches on the defensive half the passes weren't connecting and those open opportunities nerves or something getting to the players causing unforced errors so st mark definitely needs to calm down in this one a great start however if you're a st michael fan yeah good start here for st michael's as he said it was just the more consistent team they had more opportunities as well as we wait for the players to ready up and get us into game two but, you say yeah. players, but it's just me. I was the one yeah. holding everyone back. Yeah, I was just covering for you, man, okay? No, I, didn't want no, to I own my mistakes, all right? I'm a team player, and when I mess up, I will let everyone know. Okay, I'll make sure to point out every single mistake you make for the rest of the series there. <laughs> but as I was going to say, it, it was just the boys from St. Michael's being a lot more consistent. They had more opportunities and or when they had those opportunities they took them by the horns same yep. marks as well their opportunities in the fence to clear out they weren't the strongest or just touching the ball and leaving it for a couple of seconds which it's definitely mm. not something you want to do in rocket league so maybe they need to be a bit more aggressive on those clears would probably be my suggestion but i have plenty of time to come back they do, but the thing that I'm noticing that St. Mark is doing is hold the second swiper from downtown, nearly escorts it all the way. Good save right there by Kama Willow. But this is going to accentuate my point right now is they're going for individual plays to clear it out. They're not going for the passes. They're trying to solo it, and they're not soloing in a position where the second defender is directly behind so that if they are challenged, they're able to bang it past. It's sort of like one person go at a time, didn't work. All right, everyone race back on defense. Ooh. And unfortunately, that isn't working. However, Camo actually is the flick to himself. That was a fantastic shot. Great save by Golden. However, yeah, if I will say something right now, there are openings that are being forced by St. Mark. Uh, Camo in particular, he can put shots on the board. So definitely St. Michael needs to be careful. Yeah, has to be very careful here. Camo Willow definitely can get a couple of shots off here. So... They'd be very wary of him as Sivo gets opportunity, sends on to the backboard. Where's his teammate? I drink cereal. Well, too far oh. behind. And look at that. It's a free break for Golden CD. Can he get there in time? No, he can't. Sends it back to Schizo. He's able to find the backboard and Golden CD wait once again, but he just can't get the touch in time. Cameron Willow is able to get up at the right possible moment, and the clear will come through here. But once again, the attack's still on here for St. Michaels. As yeah. Golden CDs try to push the ball forward. Won't be able to for the moment as Sivo. We'll get the light touch, we'll force reset, but here comes Cameron Willow with a follow-up, but won't be enough. He just taps it and he will regain it, but shouldn't mean too much here. Learn saying that ball's in front, but no, he actually sends it backwards. That works out well for Swiper. And now St. Michaels will get a chance to get back onto the attack. So St. Mark is relying oh, entirely Skits. on individual plays. That's a shot from Skits uh, to find that goal. Just a replay right here. Sivo, again, it's a terrible touch actually setting up the opponents a double commit no one can make contact with the ball in the air that's something that saint michael established early in game number one they get that first goal and that was all of the demons from saint mark coming back to haunt them four defensive touches not able to make contact in the air and just not being fast enough to stop a crazy skits play look he's doing it again fortunately this time Sivo is able to make that save yeah, able to make the save again. Not something else to point out there. Cam w Camo Willow was definitely in a good spot to even knock him or even get the demo off. He decides to go around and, well, he was just given the free opportunity. So maybe they need to be a bit more aggressive in that department as well. Anyways, 
Looks like it's going to oh. be a nothing goal for Golden CD here. I think that one was off the pitch as we get to look at the replay here. Might have also been an own goal. Let's look at what happened. No, it was a nice pinch there from Golden CD to get second. Yeah, but it was a pinch off of I Drink Cereal, who should not be speeding towards the goal when on defense in that situation right there. Uh, very unfortunate defensive touch yet again from the St. Mark side, who... They're struggling right now. Uh, you can see communication breaking down with the double commits, with the poor spacing, especially when on defense. You can see sort of the panic with the missed touches and like just sort of the awkward plays and committing for things oh, that they don't oh, get a chance. That touch from Skits. Okay, Skits is by far on another level right now. Great pass from Swiper to just flick it right into his lap. Gets the double touch at an 89 degree angle. Skits is legit. This player is for real. Very, very much for real here. I mean, two good goals so far in the two games. Might be able to sink a third. No, just a little bit too high there. Although that was going to the opposite net. So, yeah. Anyways, it's not looking too good now here for St. Mark's as well. As he pointed out, they just, they look really, uh, what's, what's the word? Um, they look skittish. Skittish. I, yeah. Skittish, I think, is a good word. They're like, they, they, again, I drink cereal. You can see right there, pushes too far forward, caught in no man's land, gets dunked on as he tries to recover the play instead of sort of retreating back. Just the decision making, the spacing, the double commits in the corner as we see Camo Willow smash into I drink cereal as well, yet again. It's just disorganization right now on the St. Mark side. And while St. Michael, I'm not going to call them the most organized team, but they don't have to be. At the moment, they're just playing faster, they're playing at a higher uh, velocity and a higher elevation as well that St. Mark, with their disorganization, have not been able to match yet. So very, very concerning right now for this orange side. If they're going to come back into this one, they're going to need to completely switch how they look on the field. Yeah, they definitely need to change things up sooner rather than later here as Skits gets an opportunity to get the touch, but I drink cereal is able to just force it away here. Won't be able to get a counter, though, as Swiper is able to demo Cam Wilson, something else to point out as well is they've been having a lot of double and triple commits as well. So mm -hmm. definitely need to try and be careful of that as Gitz will pick himself up the brace here, a triple for himself. As at this point, game two, all but in the bag for St. Michael's. I drink cereal has no reason to push into the right side of the corner right there. You should have been able to see that Camo had already gotten the touch on the ball, had already gotten the boost. And yes, I drink cereal was still pushing through into that corner. He was still essentially, I hate to use this phrase, but he was ball chasing at that stage. And they're not communicating. They're just watching the ball and they're trying to react to that. They're not taking note of their own team's positioning, let alone their opponent's team's positioning, and they're getting punished for it. And I'm not saying St. Mark are bad players. When they have possession of the ball, when they're going for some of these solo clears, sometimes they can make crazy things happen, but they need to learn how to play as a team if they want to advance to sort of the higher levels of this meta tournament. Yeah, they're playing really puggy-like here, and especially when you're playing against teams that uh, controlling the game a bit more like a team, it's not going to be looking good as well for skits everything's looking good for him here picks up another goal this time from the halfway line here no one in defense there i drink zero is a bit too low for the contest and yeah that's how quickly will crumble here in game two st mark's are just a little bit too disorganized playing a little bit too solo minded and for st michael's they just need to keep control keep the pace up and they will pick up yet another game Look, I'm going to say this right now as the time is going to tick to an end in this one. Ball touches. There we go. I, I want to issue an apology right now to one um, Darth Druby, who played before in our first oh, game. Yeah? Not Albert. That ground pinch was amazing. The double touch that Skids pulled off in this game, even more so. And I'm sorry, Darth Druby, you no longer have the goal of the week in oh, my eyes. It's going cool. back to Skids. Yeah, and I'm sticking with it. That double touch was absolutely insane, especially when you consider the setup. And there's a reason why I'm calling back to this. The setup for that play, yes, Skits pulled off that highlight play, you know, the double touch. But you have to remember how it was set up. It was Swiper flicking the ball over def a defender, passing it to a teammate with an immaculate pass as well. There was that team play. They recognized one defender in the middle. Okay, here's how we do it. We cross him up. We go for a pass. Skits casts it. Goes and gets a crazy double touch off the backboard. Score. That was absolutely insane. It was a high-level play. It was super technical. And that right there kind of encompasses the differences between these two teams. St. Michael's, they're playing as a team. 
they have the mechanics to pull off things to make their teamwork elevate to that next level. St. Mark, they have the mechanics, but they don't have the teamwork yet. That's where they're lacking, and that's why you see the score 5-0 at the end of game number two. Yeah, I have to agree with you about, uh, about not the um, goal in the particular. I still think Josh Ruby has the um, better goal as they serve, and once again goes down for maintenance, so... Yep, those things mm. being those once again. We'll just wait for everyone to get out of the lobby and we'll rejoin it. But yeah, it's just, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, as you pointed out, it just doesn't really feel like there's a lot of teamwork here from St. Mark's. And yeah, it just, it really feels like they're playing for themselves, not as a team, especially looking at this play style, maybe Cameron Wilson, for example. Mm. It's just, he he's definitely going for a lot of the shots, but in saying that, he's also bumping his teammates out along the way. He's just going straight forward and not really paying attention for his uh, surroundings. So, yeah, it's not really, it's not really that good for St. Marks, but there are positives there for him. I mean, and here's the thing too, as well. It is much harder to communicate and play as a team when you are behind than when you are ahead, and that is very, very again true. a mental aspect. Like, you start to get behind, you start to get down. Communication is the first thing to break down when a team morale is starting to fall apart because you start to focus on your own play, picking yourself back up. Maybe you're not communicating. Uh, maybe you just don't feel the point. I don't know. Whatever the reason, communication uh, breaking down is always the first sign of a team's mental falling apart. Usually happens when behind, um, which is why the best teams are the ones who are able to recover from that. That's why comebacks are so difficult because you have to keep morale communication high throughout the entirety of a game. St. Mark can still come back. I have seen the mechanical skill from this team. I've seen him get some crazy dribbles down the pitch, catching them, creating opportunities in that facet. However, they've been individual plays. They haven't been the team plays yet. These defensive touches are weak, but there's never a player right behind to bang it through. Or if there is a player right behind, they're too close behind and the spacing just isn't quite there. It's situations like that that the team needs to improve on. And I desperately say needs to improve on right now, or this is going to be another 3-0 sweep. Yeah, they need to improve, but the question is, can they do it? They've got five minutes to find out as we get underway here for our third game of the series here. It's going to be a very quiet start here until Skit finally gets the ball, and he just, he's just the best Camo Wilson out of the server, really. A beautiful start that this gets. And, you know, it's kind of funny how I talk about teamwork and team play, like, throughout the entirety of the break, and then Skits and just goes ahead that. and does that. <laughs> I mean, look, if you have the ability and the skills to do it, by all means, score goals by any way necessary. Skits, uh, he is playing uh, the best player on the pitch. He's already gotten my vote for the MVP in this one. However, Camo Willow has Ooh. a chance, but doesn't get that second touch needed, and that save will be made. Save will be made as the ball drifts back towards halfway line by low. Although Camo Willow does pick up the ball once again, can't really follow up, but look who comes from the cloud, Sivo! Just jumps from nowhere, there's three defenders there, they weren't expecting it, but Sivo just goes, alright, a decent shot, and look at that, straight through the guts. I mean, I don't know what Swiffer was expecting right there with that touch. That was not the correct place to put the ball in that situation. Uh, I would have liked to see them actually maybe go for the pinch the defensive pinch right there, but with the other two defenders just sitting in the box, Swiffer just dribbles it right there. If Sivo hadn't have scored or at least put on a banger of a shot, I would have been even more disappointed in that St. Mark side. As it is, great heads of play by Sivo, good capitalization on the poor defensive effort, and as a result, we have a tie game. Tied game, and I believe their first goal as well for the series here, so this is definitely could be the comeback story coming through here, though, saying that Skits is able to get the ball off the ground here. It's in a very dangerous spot, as they have to go for the clear. Won't be able to. Goal CD, though, can't get the line up here. Swiper goes for a shot, but he goes too wide this time, and he's forced to play catch-up with Camo Wilson here. He goes for a long play, but Skits mid-flight is able to take the ball away from his grasp. But they're still in the attack here, St. Mark, so there is a positive at the least. Swiper, though, just trying to get the ball away here. Won't be able to, so Skits has to go up and try and clear it out. Ball still just hovering around the halfway line here. Actually sends it back a little bit, but we'll still find Golden CD. That's the important thing for St. Michaels as they try for a clear. We'll eventually get the reset here, but Ardring Zero now has the ball here. Goes to the roof. Doesn't really have control of his boost here as he misses the ball not once, but twice. Sivo goes for a follow-up, but will get contested by Swiper. And now as we're... Heading close towards a two minute gone mark. It's looking pretty tight now. Yeah, this has gotten a lot slower pace of a game. And oh, that's hey. a great touch by I drink cereal straight over the top to give St. Mark the first lead of the series. Just real quick right there. This is finally that follow through. Now, 
I think they're a little bit lucky, St. Mark, in the sense that I drink cereal. The reason why he was there was because he got himself tangled up on himself and wasn't able to rotate back fast enough. But because of the good touch from Camo, look at that. It turns into a goal. You know, making the best of a bad situation. Fantastic goal for St. Mark. Very good goal here for St. Mark and I drink cereal. As they, as this is going to completely change the complexion of the game now, this will finally force St. Michael onto the back foot. Just a reminder, both teams currently on three and one like the uh, earlier game we saw from the New Zealand division. So both teams definitely have fought their way into a very respectable spot here in the uh, South Australia and Northern Territory division. But mm. as Swipe is able to get the break here, there's no one in front, just has to pass and just gets. And just like that, back into a tied game. Now that is teamwork at his finest. Absolutely. Swiper recognizing that, you know, he doesn't have the right angle to really bang that in, but he has two teammates screaming down the middle. Just throw it to the star player of the team. Skits knocks it through. And I have a question to ask. Why is it always like the mech monkeys? Why do they always play Fennec? What is it about the Fennec? I, I do not understand. Either way, those Skits definitely looking very good in this one. Nice little clear to the corner as well to slow down the pace. Maybe... Hmm, that's actually a good question. Very good philosophical question there, Max, but <laughs> for falsely isn't part of our purview, unfortunately, so we'll continue with the action here as I drink cereal. Actually sets up a golden CD who takes advantage. No, but drifts in front of the pace of the net. And just like that, he's forced to scamper as Git. He overcooks a save and Kemo Wilson gets a magnificent goal. And look at that from the flip, gets himself back right. It just has to punch it through. Okay, Camo, I see you right now. That was a great goal, you know, pulling off the half flip while clearing it out to catch his own pass to put on a shot. That right there takes a lot of skill and probably doesn't work nine out of 10 times, but when it does, it looks so clean and so good. A lead once again for St. Mark. I'm just throwing the idea of team play out the window for the St. Mark side. <laughs> I kind of feel like Camo has to almost make it happen himself. Swiper though oh, has a chance, that's a clutch save by Simo. Sivo, right place, right time, just has to keep his footing and he's able to pinch it away here and keep his team in the lead for now. They're saying that Skitch has an opportunity, sends it down to Swiper, but he's a little bit too late to the party there. So we'll force a reset here and Sivo is going to force the issue the entire way. He sets it up for Camo once again, but can't get to save this time around. Golden will be able to keep the net clean for the moment here. So with nine seconds remaining here, so anyone's game really here, Max, as both teams just looking to try and find either that equalizer or the two goal lead. And well, as you said, teamwork has come, gone out the window. It's definitely starting to feel like it's a bit of a pug game. Yeah, it, it's starting to feel like that. But what I like from St. Mark is they're getting more aggressive with their challenges. It's no longer just Camo looking for 50s. It's actually the entire team and all of them oh. aren't afraid to push forward. Furthermore, they're pushing forward one at a time. We've stopped seeing those double commits coming from this orange side. They're actually starting to play a bit more organized, albeit it's still that sort of solo, I'm a make a play type style, but they're not all over committing all at once time and time again. So I'm liking what I'm seeing from St. Mark. This is a better adjustment than what we saw before and the results speak for themselves. They're currently with a one goal lead and only 35 seconds to go. 35 seconds remaining. Can they make that too? No, they can't. Golden CD able to keep the net clean for the moment here by Cameron Wilson. Does he get the pinch? No, finds the crossbar. And Swipe is able to just push it away. So that could have been two goals from two opportunities. But alas, it's still a one goal lead here. And now Skits gets the opportunity to push forward here. Can he get the second touch? Yes, he will. But won't be able to get a clean shot as Cameron Wilson just punches the ball away here as we enter the single digits here. It's looking yeah. very, very good for St. Mark's, but will the last cast opportunity come out for St. Michael's? The ball drifts through as we hit zero seconds here. That could be a massive whiff, but no, the ball stays up in the moment here. Swiper able to get the touches and open that hit. No just way. Again. No Can way, he... Swiper. No! No, he can't. The ball just drifts a little too wide, and it will be St. Mark's picking up game three and pushing the series on for a game four. Yeah, and they do it with a more aggressive defensive and offensive stance. This idea of tighter rotations, challenging everything, recognizing that this has kind of turned into a solo game. So let's actually match them. And 
again, when you're playing that solo game, especially when you have the tighter rotations, you're going to create more opportunities for yourself. And that's something that St. Mark started to do, especially during the second half. They were recognizing, like, you know, this ball a lot of times in no man's land. As long as we're the next person there, let's get that bump. Let's chase when they're going for, you know, deeper rotations. Let's just stay on them at all times. I remember one play in particular, Sivo, was just following skits everywhere as he just went back down to his own side of the pitch just trying to wrangle control back of the ball and it makes everything all of those solo plays that saint michael pulled off during games one and two that much more difficult because now there's an opponent just sort of bumping them grinding against them doing everything right in their way for everything that worked out for saint mark in game three let's see if saint michael now adjust back and take game four very interesting to see not something else to point out as well is they didn't really get any trouble away as much as they had in the previous two games as well there wasn't really as many double commits of what wasn't really no. much same team uh skirmishes for the ball they calmed it down they, yeah, they, they calmed cal it down and that's they what you have to do that's how you win series that's why it's a best of five not a best of three not a best of one it's all about the long game so let's see how game number four takes off is okay that uh, looks uh, what? interesting uh there's apparently a glitch here but I believe the game's going to continue on, so yes, the game's going to continue on here, so that just looks very interesting, but... That's that's a disaster because it's Camo who's disconnected, oh, and Camo has is. been the star player for St. Mark Skits over the top, is oh. going to get that first goal eventually, it's going to take a second touch to do it, but he'll get it in, however, this is not how St. Mark wants to lose this series. A man down, that's a... Yikes. Time. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, indeed here as um he's apparently stuck on loading screen, so this could be uh this could be interesting here. I believe we're gonna have to crack out the rule book here, but for the moment the game is gonna continue on as Swiper just tries to push things forward. Golden C D can't get the clean touch, so Ball's now just hovering around the midfield here. Skits gets an opportunity, but I drink serial says no to that. Will at the very least force the issue as yeah, this is an interesting moment here. Uh, Max, maybe take the lead while I have a quick look at the... Um, yeah, world. no worries. I'll just continue on what's going on. I mean, I expect there's going to be a lot of pressure being put on by St. Michael. Obviously, the number advantage going to be working for them. Sivo, though, he's had some good touches in the past, more so on defense. Let's see if he can get a good pass. That looks pretty solid. I drink cereal does get the shot off, but that was a case of Golden CD in the way. Skits with just the simplest of touches on the follow-through following the clear. Will get himself the second goal of the game. And this is why 2v3s are always going to be difficult, because normally when you are attacking against three defenders, you are going to need at least two cars, you know, to do some sort of mix-up to get it past them. But by committing two, well, surprise, that's your entire team. So, mm, counter-attack yeah. goals just become that much easier. Indeed here, as um, we are still trying to figure out what's happening here. It looks like the players will be remaking, but yeah. I believe that... Well, looking at the rules here... Uh... Ooh interesting to say the least so we might have to get the admins in for this one but i mean yeah the way how i see it honestly in this one this is this is my personal take right now and judging by the fact that we we're watching players from saint michael leave i think we're probably going to get a remake of that game and it looks yeah. almost to me just from a neutral perspective that saint michael's are almost encouraging a proper remake in this one because look yeah. You don't want to win in a 3v2 situation. Like, obviously you want to win, and sometimes winning by any means necessary is great and all, but is it really a victory in that situation? And like these kids, these players, these high schoolers, they are playing to improve themselves as well as like, you know, to play in these games. And winning isn't everything. Competition, growing, learning, improving. These are all important skills that are being carried over as well. And when you're put in a situation where you can remake it, return to sort of what would be fair competition, my hat goes off to the students who recognize that yeah. that is the better choice and then act upon it, so. Definitely. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah, absolutely agree here. Good stuff from St. Michael's to obviously make sure that they, their win is a fair win. So the re we will be having a remake here. There shouldn't be an issue in that, looking at the rules. So I think we should get the green light no matter what here. We're just waiting on, I believe, I know Camo is in here, so we're just waiting on one more player to rejoin us here. But yeah, definitely some very good sportsmanship coming out from the St. Michael's side. And they definitely deserve to be uh, commended for it. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to. That said, though, I'm trying to figure out whose name is missing right now so I can call them out. I love, I love singing praises to players. Don't get me wrong. Golden CD. Like calling out players. So, oh, it's Golden CD. Yeah, not so golden now, are you? Probably back down to silver or bronze. Either way, though, we're going to be <laughs> kicking off our fourth game oh, once again in just a few moments. Once more, St. Michael on the blue side. Match point for them. St. Mark aiming for that reverse sweep in orange. Yep, looking for the reverse sweep. The question is, can they do it as we are going underway here for take two of game four? It will be... Camo trying to push out early on, but won't be able to. We'll get blocked off. Silver, though, won't have any issues in doing that as he goes high into the sky. And now, we do see Demo onto Skits here, so that will hamper St. Michaels just a little bit here. But for the moment here, it looks like it's just going to be a bit of a feeler. Oh! But saying that, Camo Wilson, even being demoed, he's able to get the open. I thought that ball was going to go just a smidge wide. Wow, look at that. Camo back onto the pitch, and he's already scoring goals, winning 50s by what looked to be just a couple centimeters. However, the player I was most impressed with in that first 25 seconds was actually Sivo. Uh, Sivo, again, I gave him a bit of praise at the end of the third game for, you know, kind of stalking players and always looking to challenge. You can see right there, he is the one who's been pushing past that midfield line, always getting those first touches and slowing down a lot of St. Michael's offensive movements. Uh, this has been giving St. Mark that time to make those defensive adjustments to better suit themselves to get those booming clears. So Sivo has absolutely been, I think, a key oh. catalyst for the turnaround. He even gets the assist right here, dropping the pass to I Drink Serial as he takes it all the way through. And that's a good team play there as well as, well, they effectively running defense for him as everyone just gets bumped out of the way. Swiper was just forced into a very hard spot. He couldn't make it back in time because of the effective block, and that just opened it up for Idring Serial. So, yeah, the fortunes have turned dramatically here for St. Mark's. Now being 2-0 up here, this, this, is, this could be mega. This could be a very, very critical, like, turning point in this series right now. Sivo, in particular, I'm still keeping my eyes on him. He's just playing so much faster than he did at the start of this series. It's almost as if he's, like... Traditionally a controller player, but was stuck on KBN until his little sister, you know, got off the PlayStation and now he can <laughs> get his proper controller and get going or something because Sivo has absolutely turned it around and the team is playing around him a bit more, not to mention Camo still doing what Camo does, getting great touches at any given opportunity. And this player skits, he's almost gone invisible just because he's been pressed, because he's been challenged. He hasn't had that same space to work with. And it's almost leaving him a little bit exposed. He's definitely not the same player when under that same sense of pressure that St. Mark was on uh, during the first half of the series. Yeah, he's been shut down fairly well here by St. Mark's, which was probably one of the biggest win conditions in trying to find the uh, reverse away here as Cameron Wilson will go up just to try and get the double touch. He won't be able to, and that leaves Gold oh. with a perfect opportunity to just dribble it in and bring his team back into the game. Now, while I hate whiffs, I hate whiffs, I love it when teams capitalize on them. Right there, Golden CD makes the correct read as Camo isn't able to get that second touch. Sivo trusting his teammate perhaps a little bit too much, that bit too slow on the play. And as a result, a great goal. Meanwhile, though, a fake kickoff set up for a Sivo shot. That almost worked for St. Mark. That would have been devastating for St. Michael. <laughs> would have been very, very devastating, devastating for him, but... They were able to keep their nets clean for now as St. Michael's look to try and push forward here. We'll give the ball over to Golden CD, but he can't do too much for it here. But now Skits goes up for a fight, but no, he will even have a whiff as well here. As oh, Sivo okay. whiffs as well, two whiffs in a row. You do hate to see it as we go past the halfway point here with St. Mark's in the lead. And yeah. now it's just going to probably be a bit of a back and forth game for the next few moments here as both teams just try and manufacture an advantage here. Golden CD will get the second touch here, so he's going to continue to push it forward. Can he get the first touch? Yes, he can, but the third will not mean a goal for now. But look at Skits. <laughs> he's coming through. And look at that. Yet another whiff. It's whiff city, ladies and gentlemen. As Cameron Wilson comes with the follow-up, but Golden CD isn't whiffing that one. But Sivo, he'll go just a little bit too tight. Okay, Golden CD just forcing Idring Serial out of the play and still being able to recover and get back around and make the save was absolutely phenomenal right there. I, I love it. He did enough to bump Serial just out of the play completely and still went for two more. He was just out for blood. I don't know what Serial did 
to uh, Golden CD, but definitely it left a mark. My goodness. Meanwhile, we are back to the ping pong. Skits, though, caught in no man's land. Oh. This is scary. Golden CD, though, does have time to work with actually a slow reaction from St. Mark. I feel as if St. Michael just got away with one. Yeah, definitely did. Um, in St. Michael, though, Golden CD was in the um, pocket, so it wasn't particularly bad for him. But yeah, that could have been very disastrous for the blue side and St. Michael's. But now they regain control of the ball here, Golden CD trying to push it onto his gets, but he's been covered by two players, so he won't be able to get the touch for now. And now with a minute remaining here, it's all up to St. Michael's to try and get a comeback here. Skits is able to get the flip reset, but Tuvo easily reads our play, can easily punch the ball away here. Now Golden CD gets some opportunity here, but can't do too much oh. with it, however. And it will force Swiper onto a bit of a scamper in defense here. 40 seconds now remaining. He actually picks the ball Golden up CD. from nowhere. Golden CD is just waiting down below, but he somehow finds the pace. Never mind, gets with the follow-up. He's able to punch it through, and we're tied up at two all. It's always the third man you gotta watch out for. The greatest defender in Rocket League can't make two miracle saves. Top crossbar does get the first one, but Skits on the follow through gets it right underneath. The defense from St. Mark, they were scrambling. That counterattack was a bit too fast and a bit too accurate. Tied with 30 seconds to go. This game can go either way. Definitely can. We might even head it to overtime here as I drink zero trying to get it through. He will only be able to disrupt, I believe, Skits in that one, who will get. Demoed for his troubles. Golden CD trying to keep this game alive for his teammates. That's the ball drops down, but Swiper pinches it away well. And now he's on a quick ball up here. We'll get another touch. He finds the backboard. Nine seconds remaining. Golden CD goes up. We'll get a slight touch. Keeps it on the attack. Skits. Tries to pitch it through. Won't be able to. Golden CD. Can he get the touch? No, he can't. It's just a little bit too hard. As time starts to run out, will be Kellen Wilson just tapping it onto the ground. And for the first time today, we're into overtime. Yeah, overtime and a triple commit from St. Mark to kick this overtime off. That's spooky. Uh, fortunately for this orange side, they don't get punished too hard for it, but you don't really want to see that. What you do want to see is Sivo getting great touches, nearly finding the goal, but the counterattack from Swiper actually could be a very bad situation. You see Serial trying to get back in place, but a beautiful touch from Camo will clear it back to the blue side of the pitch. Yeah, that triple commit could have been disastrous, but it works out. The ball just hovers around in midfield, no one really being able to make any sort of advantage off that here as St. Michael's now going to the prowl here. Golden CD, a decent enough shot by Cameron Wilson. A very easy save for himself as Raw now goes into the air. Sivo able to pick it up, but look, he's waiting on the ground. It will be Skits, Trussell, or Backboard won't be able to, but Golden CD will just stop the ball dead here, but it will allow a reset to come through, so... Yeah. The next few moments, it will be St. Mark's on the attack here. Skits has to play defense, oh. but he's a little too late to the party. Cameron Wilson goes on top, taps it in, and we're heading to a game five. Okay, this overtime was very interesting to me. I kind of spent the most of it actually watching Camo in this one. Yep. That's because of how defensively he was playing throughout that overtime. He was making sure he was never going to be the first man. Be that, you know, trying to stay back and actually make those backward clears, or even when... Uh, St. Mark started to push on offense. It was Camo leading the charge, but then he slowed down and actually let Sivo be the setup. And that just comes from confidence and communication. Camo probably recognized as being, you know, the best mechanical player on the team, the one most likely able to get that aerial through, is thinking, you know what, Sivo, you go forward. I'm going to be the second man. No matter what, that ball is not going to get behind me. And if that situation arises, I'm going to be the one who will drive through and bang it in. And we saw both of those into effect that overtime. So, Great to see more strategy, more communication from that St. Mark side. And look, they're winning games now. They're winning clutch games now. They've just put themselves in position to complete a reverse sweep. So a great turnaround from St. Mark. Great play from Camo in particular. I'm excited to see what St. Michael can do to try and stop this bleeding. Otherwise, reverse sweep. Yeah, it's going to be hard for the St. Michael's boys to come back now as Max finally hits the ready up button with Three seconds to go. I gotta finish my speech, man. I gotta finish my speech. <laughs> well, well, when you're I about to finish ready. it, you can still hit ready. Never. And that way we're saving a few more seconds. So that's the oh. important thing. Anyways, yeah, St. Mark's have definitely come from nowhere as it's happened again here. So I believe we're having a yet another remake. No, apparently not. Yes. Everyone did, and then we're kicking off. Yeah, we're kicking off here. It looks like it was just maybe few gremlins in the system here as Gitz gets an opportunity. Or maybe it could be my games. Who knows? Anyways, we're on to the decider. That's the important thing. 
as I drink a cereal, tries to push out here. We'll be able to pick up from where Sivo left off. But yeah, as I was going to say, this was... Oh, <laughs> this is... <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I was I was at the edge of my seat just building with anticipation, swiper ball in the air, boost in his pocket, and then you see that. Yeah. Um, yeah, nerves, just, man. Yeah. Nerves, this is game five. You're about to get reverse swept. Those little mistakes are going to start to creep up on you, and it's really important that you don't let them punish or turn them into goals the other way. So very tense situation right now in this game number five. Very tense indeed here as both teams having claims to victory here. And Swiper goes for a solo play, will only be able to dump Sivo out of the way after he knocks the ball clear out of danger. And now with a point and demo there, that should stop the attack from St. Mark's in the next few moments here as Cameron Wilson will go up once again, tries to set something up off the back wall, but Swiper will be able to get find the ball, will be able to find Skips, just slams it through two defenders. And it, just like that, St. Michael's will pick up the lead. So I've noticed already in this game as well for the St. Mark side, Camo is not playing like he did towards the end of game number four. He is starting to get a bit more aggressive. He is trying to push the ball forward. And as a result, we saw him get demoed for it. And then that opens the door for St. Michael to find that goal. Uh, St. Mark, look, there's a phrase is if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think you need to fall back onto that right now because you're starting to get a little antsy. You're starting to push forward when maybe you don't have to. And that is costing Sivo. He is the man who I want to see setting up. As you see right there, is able to push it forward. Does get demoed for his trouble as well, but you're saving Camo as that third man to be that sort of rock to either, you know, make a clutch save or bang it through. And this could be the opportunity for Camo now. He's waiting at oh. mid-pitch, going up for it. Does he spike it down? No, because no, there are two defenders in the way. Yes, Gitz is able to just go up to the fight and lob it into the corner here. So with two minutes all but gone, it is still going to be St. Michael's in the lead. Silver though, tries for a pinch onto the ground. Won't be able to, so go on CD. Has control of the ball and will try to push it out, but he does not, not have full control of the ball here. So Skits will go for his own little clear, but won't be able to. Camo will keep the ball in play for now, but eventually the ball will get pushed into the attacking third for St. Michael's who just try to extend their lead won't be able to right now as the defense is for St. Mark's holding strong yeah. and this is this is going to head into an interesting spot here where both teams just feel like they're at an equilibrium they just can't get past any of them but as soon as I say that Gold CD no. in a perfect spot but he has no pace will just stop dead in his tracks and the ball is cleared out a miracle there for St. Mark's and again, that is nerves. Golden CD would hit that nine out of 10 times, but it's a game five. It's a one goal differential. You just, you hesitate, you overthink, and you make little mistakes like that. We've seen both teams do that at this stage and it's cost each of them, I feel like a goal in two situations. So definitely, definitely gonna be a tough one. It's why the players like Skits, why the players like Cameron Wilson are Will, yeah, Willow. I should say. This is why they're the ones who are going to have to step up right now because they are, I can tell just from they play, they are the more experienced ones. They are the higher level ones. They're the ones who are going to have to rise. We've seen Skids do it once already. Can Camo respond? There's just under two minutes left. Yeah, about 100 seconds left on the clock now. Can Camo Wilson get the goal to keep his team in this game? He does get the save at the very least, but Skids with a perfect opportunity and goal CD just in the right spot to force a defender into an unplayable position, just like that. It will be St. Michael's 2-0 up. Now let's see if they can hold it down, Max. That's heartbreaking too for Camo. He thought he had time. He went for the boost. That's why he wasn't there. But the problem was, so did Serial. Both players double committed for the boost in that corner. No one was left in the goal. And a great read and a fast shot by Skits is what makes it that 2-0 difference. So much pressure on St. Mark right now. They still have about 80 seconds. They find two more points if they want to bring this reverse sweep attempt into overtime. But Woo! Nearly a goal right there. Instead, we're seeing a demo and a nice clear. Camo might be looking to go the distance. Go One the defender at his way, but he misses! Oh, that could be crucial here. As Skits now has full control of the ball, finds the backboard. Swiper comes in with the opportunity, but Arjing Serial doesn't get the touch, but does enough to dissuade him as... Oh, that was close there for Golden CD. But no one unable to follow up through the backboard. So, 50 seconds remaining here. St. Michael's looking to try and end it now. St. Mark's trying for yet another miracle comeback. Who will get it? We'll find out within 40 seconds as Camo Wilson 
We'll just leave the ball for Sivo here, who pushes it up, gets, gets control of the ball, but we'll send it immediately back to Golden CD. And now Ardring Serial forced to just rush back and stop the ball before it gets too close to the net. Ardring Serial passes it on to Sivo, but just doesn't have full control of the ball here. Will eventually lead it to the pocket, however. But with 20 seconds remaining, they need a goal within the next few moments, or this could be it. Sivo trying his best face just to cut between a rock and a hard place here. I drink cereal, trying his best to push forward, but with 10 seconds remaining here, Kevin Wilson needs a miracle now. Will he get it? No, he can't. Oh. Zippo misses it. And with that, it's fairly safe to say after a thrilling series, St. Mark's, they can't force the comeback. They've done well, but it will be the Red Barons. It will be St. Michael's picking up the victory here and moving to 4-1 and one in the SANT bracket. Yeah, it was... A tense series for sure, especially for St. Michael's, but Skits again kind of found himself a couple very, very clutch touches. That second one in particular from the middle of the pitch was an absolute laser, taking advantage of St. Mark Myth's positioning. And sometimes that's the only difference that it makes, especially in a game five when the pressure is high. I mean, both teams started to get a little sloppy towards the end. But Skits was the one player who kind of stayed true to himself, was still reading the play, was still understanding the situations. And Camo Willow on the other side, well, he started to fall apart a little bit. A couple more miscues for him. And unfortunately, that will cost St. Mark the reverse sweep. But a great show nonetheless for St. Michael. A solid 3-2 to victory. And yeah, one of the best teams. Yeah, you never know. That could be the team representing uh, South Australia and Northern Territory come Nationals. But... For now, at the very least, that's where we will leave you for today. My thanks to Max for joining me, as always. Yo. <laughs> yes. Make sure that's you, what you get from me. Yo. I get a yo. That's all I ever ask. You get a Make yo. sure you are following us on Twitter, also Meta High School as well, or the um, links will be in the will be in the chat. And if you do want to register for 2020, I believe it might be might still be open, although we are starting to get fairly into the season. But if you need any of the information from either League of Legends, Rocket League, or even NBA 2K, make sure you head on over to metahsc.gg and all the information will be there. But for now, at the very least, I've been Chris the Average. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again next time for more action here on Meta.